going on guys? Today, it's Airman Martin again with another video on how to wear your ABUs, your Airman Battle Uniform. We're gonna go over things to look for, things to not do, and things that'll make you look dumb if you do it. Let's get right into it. All right guys, I am behind the camera and today we're going to go over your pants and your boots with blousing. Now I'm pretty sure you could see the problem here already, but a lot of people can't seem to figure out even now what the actual issue is. So you're gonna go down here, you can see his left is blouse, his right one is not, but there's even more wrong with this than you think, as you will see right now. Left, peace! So, he's gonna pull up his left pant leg. Go ahead. So, when you look around here, his laces are out. That is a big no-no. And this right here is his blousing strap. It blends in with his sock. You can see it right there? Yeah. You'll see what he does. Go ahead. They click together, like so. God damn this thing. There you go. Click together, put your pants down, and you take it and stuff the slack inside. And now, one thing to always, this is what I do. I always took my laces in before I blouse my pants, so he'll show you what to do. It's literally what it sounds like. You take the excess, and you just stuff them in. That's all you do. Looking much better. Flight tension. Even though it's for demonstration purposes, it looks much better as it is now. You can see some uniformity in the uniform. Alright, so that is blousing your pants and your boots. Next, we're going to cover the ABU top. Now, we're going to go over the ABU top. Simple as it may seem, there's a lot of things MTAS will look for and things that will get you if you're not very attentive to your detail. So, let's go over this. Flight tension. Dress right, dress. Now, main things to look for mostly is this. Straight center line down, all the way down to the fly, of course. Buttons all buttoned, everything. Every single one, they will check. I'm not lying, they will check this. And if it's not done, that's a demerit. And that's called you not getting honor grad. Hardy har har. And now, strings. These matter, because that's a demerit all by itself. Main thing to look for, here, straight down, the love to make them so I'm off in haiku if I take this and it's not buttoned. Strings all in the hole. You'll notice them a lot. In your pockets, mostly, and straight down here. And pants as well, usually up by your waistline. And on the pockets as well. Right up! Hooms! About! Peace! Now, the backside, believe it or not, has some detail to it. See how it's pulling all the way straight down, looking sharp? What shouldn't you do, Airman? Don't be that guy, you look dumb. Much better. About peace! Now, one thing to notice is these are pen pockets right here. You will not be using them, not till Airman's week. You are forbidden, that's why you're giving a web belt. But there's a hidden little trick, Airman, if you will show them. Ha ha, beautiful. The pen pocket right there. It's gorgeous, really. MTIs will not check that because they can't touch you. Believe it or not, your MTIs will not have physical contact with you at any time. They will not be, what is it, about within 20 inches of you? Yes, sir. Perfect. At ease. So now that is your ABU top and things to look for. Also, one thing to notice he has chevrons. You won't. At least not until you graduate. You'll wear them for parade, not for coin ceremony, to clear up that misconception. But if your contract says you get paid an A1C, you're being paid an A1C even in basic training. So that clears up some questions. Next, we're going to talk about the ABU cap. All right, so now we're going to talk about the ABU cap. Flight touch, run! Look at my airman, all spiffy. Oh, wait a minute. Can you guys figure out what's wrong here? I hope so. You're not, you're pretty dumb. There it is, the problem, the ABU cap. Not only does it look ridiculous, but there's a couple problems with it. Let's see what it is. Fix your hair, Airman. Fix your hat, Airman. Take it off. We're gonna show you how to fix it. Demonstrate for me, please. We're gonna take your hands together like so, just generally, and you're gonna take them and stretch it out. You know what the actual hat? Yep. 
crease it in together. This is a small attention to detail that you actually really love during your time in basic. One thing to notice, it's a tip from us both, that only wear one cap in basic training. Only wear one. Your other one will be called your tuxedo hat. Never touch it. It'll look perfect during coin ceremony when you first see your family. And they will be impressed, I promise you. That is how you wear an ABU cap. Straight flying. It's perfect. Very good. And one thing to touch on real quick, you see how much like you would guess his name tapes? That is also one thing to look for in uniform for strings. I forgot to mention that. You guys won't have them until your third week of training and second clothing issue. But look for it anyways. Eddie's. Perfect. So now let's see if there's anything else major we can figure out what's wrong with this airman. All right, guys, now we're going to go over what to have in your pockets at any given moment. The answer, really quickly, to spoil it, absolutely nothing. You will never have anything in your pockets. Never. Watch. Flight. Tension. Hut. Nothing in this pocket right here. Nope. Nothing in this pocket. Nope. They will check your side pockets. Up, oh, up. Oh, what do we have here? A wallet. Now, to notice one thing, that will automatically get you a U for the week of training and possibly get you recycled depending on how far you're in your training. And that's a security violation. It's supposed to be in your security drawer. That is a failure of one thing. And secondly, if you were to check my other pocket, change. Another thing, don't have it on you. Money list. If you find one penny in your pocket, recycled automatically. Thank you, sir. So, now another thing we're going to cover for you is how to put your hat in your pocket. Airman Hildreth will now demonstrate. For all intents and purposes, this is a building, this is an entrance. Use your imagination. If you want to go into Air Force BNT, use it while you still have it. Guarantees will take it from you, I promise. Enter the building. I'm going to show you what to do with your hat. It always goes in one of your cargo pockets. Always. Then you proceed. Oh crap, you gotta leave. You will stop. You will take it out. Put it on. And then proceed. Flight halt. About haste. One thing to notice, or one thing to know more than anything, is that I see all, saw this all the time in basic when I actually progressed in my weeks because you will notice that when you get into about your fifth, sixth week of training, your grandpa flight, you're old, you know what you're doing. Other flights don't. When people leave any building, you will see MTIs yelling, get your cover on, because they forget. It's pretty funny, but we're gonna try and stop that from happening to you right away. Whenever you leave a building, cap on. You are not in a building or an overhead at any time. For a downward potential purposes, demonstrate again. Walk through. Once you get good, you can walk and do it. You got places to be. You got, somewhere, you got something to do. Perfect. Flight. Oh, there you go. <laughs> perfect. This is your perfect airman and uniform. This is what you should look like. Everything that we covered are things not to do and things to look for. Strings, be attentive. Clip them. Don't be that guy who doesn't. You look very poor and you will fail on your inspections. Boots. Blouse them properly and stuff in your laces, please. Make sure this is nice and straight and always have this looking nice and sharp. Always. Collar down. And one thing people forget all the time, make sure that this isn't like halfway up like this, all the way down. This is all the way down. Perfect. Eddie! This is what you should look like at any given moment in basic training. You will always basically be in ABUs regardless of what you're doing besides PT. You will get your name tapes like he has on his uniform in the third week of training and second clothing issue. And you'll get your blues as well, you get fitted for them. That is a very long process. You'll be there all day, be ready for it. It's a very long and extensive thing. All right guys, take a look. What's wrong with this? Because I'm impatient and I have a lot of time. Wizard sleeves! Now, one thing to notice here, you have three sets of buttons on your uniform for how much you can tighten them. This is wrong because they're called wizard sleeves. We're not wizards, we're airmen. Show me your other arm. 
This is what you want. Your MTI doesn't want you to be individual. Everyone wants to look the same. You have no personality. All the way button. Also, the thing to notice, this is a great place for strings. Clip them. What I would do is we suggest buy scissors, like small scissors. You can actually show you right now. Let's see. Perfect. Ching ching. Perfect thing to have. Nail clippers are okay, but they're, they're known for like having to tug. These will just get rid of them right away. They're perfect. They got us through basic training. That's what I did. Eddies. That is it. We covered everything that we wanted you to know for your ABUs because this is what you will be wearing basically 9.9 .9 times out of 10. You will get to wear your blues in the six week of training for a little bit and that's basically it and for parade. But most of the time, get used to loving them. You'll wear them more than anything. Thank you for watching.